So Wes. Yeah. I had a little explosion. You had a little explosion. With my LiPo battery. Oh my gosh. And I noticed that a lot of people don't use LiPo bags and... Really? Well, they don't. I've been to races and you don't see anybody with LiPo bags mm -hmm. or... Um, yep. The explosions can be quite violent. Yes. If you go to the X Games, you see a lot of guys that aren't wearing safety equipment sometimes too. But the proper and safe way of doing things is always to make sure that you've got your safety equipment. For example, safety glasses. These are not exactly safety glasses, but I'm going to wear these so I can see what I'm doing. This is your basic lithium polymer battery. So what I understand is that you charged yours when you got a voltage error. Yeah. You probably do not own one of these either, which is a tester, which no, will don't. allow us to see exactly what is going on inside the battery pack before we ever go near a charger. So, we take our device and our balance lead, plug it in, and when it fires up, it tells us our overall voltage of the battery, and then we can also see what per cell is in the battery. This one is currently telling us 3.86 volts per cell on both, so they're evenly balanced at this point. What I suspect may have happened with your battery is when you got the voltage error, you had one volt or two down in one of the cells, one of them was closer to higher and that was what the charger was telling you at the point. If you had a device like this, you could have looked at that and said, yes, that's exactly what's wrong with my battery. Hey, uh, but um, I had another battery like that and uh, I guess I discharged and recharged it and I was able to get rid of... Uh, you may have been lucky in that point because what happened is you had one cell that was low, one that was high, and when you took it out of balance mode, the charger is now looking for an overall voltage in the battery pack of 8.4 volts in a two cell. So it would have just kept pushing along, looking for 8.4 volts out of here. At that point, it may have reached 8.4 or somewhere close to it, but one of the cells in the pack could have still been way below 3 point something volts. And the other cell rose way above 4.2. At that point, 4.3 and above, those cells become very unstable and can be dangerous, expand gases, and can ignite. That yes. is quite possibly what happened. So, and Quite violently. I, I do want the viewers to know that this is quite serious. And here's some images of what happened in my at-home edit suite beside my work table. This keyboard was about two feet away. This speaker, the cones are melted off it from the initial blast, I think. Flames uh, went about three feet, and I was lucky I wasn't in, in the path of the explosion. Just a warning to everybody, this is serious. And when you're racing cars and everything else, you, you know, you're young, you're around young people. You don't want them to get injured, and you don't want to get injured yourself. And there's no reason to end up in the hospital. In fact, we can probably show the people what would happen in such a situation. I actually have a battery we can go do some nastiness with and show exactly what can happen. This time we saw a lot of smoke, but fire can actually happen in the situation in two. So please, please use a lipo bag, use an ammo box, treat your lipo batteries with great care and respect. Thank you for watching.